Trinidad and Tobago. Let's focus on one of our religious organizations, this time uh, the Association of Jehovah's Witnesses of Trinidad and Tobago. They have joined with their global community in a November initiative to distribute this month's issue of the Watchtower magazine, which is entitled, What is God's Kingdom? Well, we're joined by three members of uh, their public information desk, and uh, they are Jude Niles, Frank Pantin, and Claude Sedenio. A very good morning uh, to all three gentlemen. Good to, to have you all uh, with us. And uh, if, if, if we could start uh, with, with, uh, with uh, good Mr. Morning, good morning, good morning. Good to have you with us. If we could start with Mr. Sedenio. Good morning to you, sir. And just, just tell us about specifically what this initiative is all about in relation to the distribution of the magazine at a time of COVID-19. Yeah, well, this particular magazine really highlights God's kingdom. And uh, this is a, a question that many people have had for years. What is this kingdom about? And it is really God's government, uh, the Son Jesus Christ ruling. And you recognize, you just said it for Sir, what does it do with relation to the pandemic? As you know, there are so much pain and suffering all over the years. And so it ties in. And so we have this specific magazine that highlights that God's kingdom is going to provide solutions to not just the pandemic, but all the other problems that we are faced with. And so this particular month, Jehovah's Witnesses all over the world in 240 countries and 8.6 million of us, and we are doing that in more than 360 languages, we are highlighting this specific magazine, What is God's Kingdom? And, and, and Mr. Pantin, if I could get your perspective, as, as far as the, the whole distribution element, because there is an inherent risk with the, com with the com people coming into contact, getting into close proximity. And, and we all know, as with other religious organizations, a lot of the work involves feet on the ground, visiting different communities and different times to distribute, whether it's literature or words of advice, words of exhortation and so on. How is it happening this time around, Mr. Pantin? Well, generally, this magazine will be distributed electronically or perhaps by mail. We are working in, in harmony with the COVID-19 regulations, of course, the government regulations and the health protocols. We have suspended our door-to-door -door ministry. We have closed our kingdom halls. All of this to protect the community, but also to be still able to pass on information by means of video conferencing. So. We have means of getting to people and we're doing this campaign in over 350 languages all over the world. It's a really, really big campaign. We want to reach every possible person on the planet if we can. And uh, as far as the campaign here in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, uh, Mr. Pantin, I, I, are you reaching the target so far? Because we're, we're approaching the, well, we've we're just gone past, sorry, the midpoint of the month of November. Um, are, are you uh, reaching the, 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 the audience that you are hoping to reach in Trinidad and Tobago? Absolutely. This campaign is not just about reaching the average individual in the community, but we are especially targeting government officials, uh, health officials, parliamentarians, etc. So yes, we're getting feedback already because the information is out there circulating in the communities of Trinidad and Tobago. And, and Mr. Niles, uh, good, good morning to you, sir. If I could get to your perspective as well as to the effectiveness of, of this sort of effort, because sometimes, you know, you, you look on from a distance and you wonder, I, I see this magazine being distributed or that bit of literature being distributed, religious or otherwise, and you often wonder, are people just picking it up and throwing it in the nearest dustbin? I don't want to sound disrespectful, uh, but uh, are, they, are, are they reading it? Are they, uh, what sort of take up do you get? from those who may not be followers of a particular faith to actually show some interest, as in this case with the Watchtower magazine? Well, Fazir, all of us are interested in better, better conditions. We want to improve our family lives. We want to improve the quality of our life. And oftentimes, particularly in times like the pandemic, a lot of persons are disheartened. Uh, they may think that, you know, they are overwhelmed. However, by getting a message that's positive, showing that this is not all there is, but there's a better life to come, gives the impetus to continue striving, to continue doing their best. 
And, and Mr. Sidney, if I could just give, since before I could reach the latch on the front gate, I recall people from the Jehovah Witnesses community coming to, 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 to the front gate to, to, to offer words of advice and present the Watchtower magazine and so on. It, 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 it seems almost, a, 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 for want of a better term, traditional uh, for that exercise to be conducted. From, from your own point of view, Mrs. Sedenio, how effective has it been over the years to get the word across via, via this publication? Well, I would say it has been very effective because it has helped people to see the importance of Bible prophecy. We also deal in that particular magazine on social issues that are impacting people, and we show them scriptural basis for what we are telling them, and it has been very effective. I'd just like to give you a little understanding based on what you just said. I have been sending copies of this magazine electronically, and I was checking my contacts, and apparently it was the wrong contact. So the person told me that, um, well, I'm the wrong person. I said, yes, I'm so sorry. You know what? Everybody needs to know this comforting message. So even though you have the wrong contact, could you please read it? And the person replied, thank you so much for sharing. So it's very effective. So wrong person, mm -hmm. but right message in, in that sense. But uh, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Pantin, <laughs> indeed. Uh, but Mr. Pantin, as, as far as the, you know, the, the tailoring the messages, and I know it's a global message, but is, there, is, is it one common a message, or do you tailor it based on whether it's Caribbean or Trinidad? Because with, with each different society, while the message is universal, there may be specific issues that people might want to address, Mr. Pantin. Uh, Mr. Mohammed, I'm sure you'll agree that we live in very challenging times. Things like ethnic conflicts, infectious disease, terrorism, climate change, energy security, food and water scarcity, international migration. These are problems that affect people everywhere. Even here in Trinidad, we have migrations coming from Venezuela and other places. So this magazine is for everyone. People long for better conditions. Many don't realize that they have already been praying for a solution to these problems by saying what they call the Lord's Prayer. When we pray for God's kingdom to come, unwittingly, we are already asking for a different form of government, a government that will provide security and enough food and health services for the entire population of the earth, not just for Trinidad or the United States, but the entire um, world population. We, we, this campaign is about a world governance by a righteous king who would ensure that the resources of the earth benefit the entire human family. And I was reading recently, Mr. Mohammed, that the world's eight richest men can, take, can control more than half of the wealth in the world. That's more than four billion people. And recently, in 2016, all of the wealth created in the world went to one percent of the world's population. So obviously, there's a problem of governance. Something is wrong. People of the earth need a better kind of governance, and that's what the kingdom of God will provide. And, and before time runs out on us, if I could ask Mr. Nile just to, to advise anyone who might be saying, well, okay, um, I haven't received my copy as yet. I would like to get a copy whether I am a, a believer or not. I want to hear what this message is all about that offers me some guidance and some hope uh, at, at, the, at these very troubled times. Mr. Niles, how, how do people access a copy? Well, there are several ways. One is, of course, for you, Fazir, I could make a special delivery to you. Um, secondly, if it is you to go on our website, jw.org, on the homepage of our website, the magazine is there, the link is available. So you can click on it and you can enjoy reading. And, and from, from, from your own perspective, Mr. Niles, from, from your own point of view, and, and of course you're a, you're a believer yourself, but does, 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 do these words offer what, what hope, consolation, inspiration, some, so all, of the, all of the above sort of thing? All of the above. Uh, what the kingdom is going to do is going to restore paradise on planet Earth. Paradisic conditions, a time when it is we'll be able to live in peace and in happiness. That's something that we all yearn for. And that's what the kingdom will accomplish. 
All right. Well, uh, this, this, this is a, a very lofty promise, and uh, I'm sure it's an opportunity for many people, in all seriousness, uh, as I'm sure we're discussing it right now, uh, to really get that that peace of mind in in many different ways. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for taking the time to be with us uh, this morning. And again, you could access uh, the the publication and the other information related uh, to the uh, Association of Jehovah's Witnesses of Trinidad and Tobago and beyond at their website, which is very straightforward: jw.org. As we go to the break, here's uh, a.